This is Minecraft, a cross-platform computer game created back in 2009 by Swedish games developer Marcus Persson. Minecraft is one of the biggest selling games of all time. 70 million copies have been snapped up. That's more than the UK's population. And it's still selling at the rate of 15,000 a day. Minecraft is basically digital Lego, where you mine blocks from underground and use them to build anything you want, from entire worlds filled with everything from castles and underground bunkers to roller coasters and airships. The retro blocky graphics are one of the features which makes this game so appealing to its main audience of 15 to 21 year olds. But what about the rest of us? Should we all be playing Minecraft? To find out, I called in the tech testers. School improvement advisor, Joanna. We have our Minecraft game ready. I've got the instructions for setting up, so let's see how easy it is. And audio-visual programmer Brett would be using the best-selling pocket edition of Minecraft on their tablets. OK, I'm going to play Minecraft. While I'd be trying the PC version. So, we're, we're in a mine trying to get some fuel. And to help me make sense of it, veteran gamer Daniel would be my guide. So I've been playing Minecraft for maybe four or five years now, so I know quite a lot about this. There are two main modes in the game, creative and survival. Creative gives you almost limitless resources to build anything you fancy from the ground up in your own enormous world. And it seemed a natural starting point for our testers. In creative mode, you get a store stuffed with blocks, everything from sandstone to diamond. And you can build whatever you fancy. Let's see if I can build a house. But it's all about experimenting, but you can do all kinds of builds. You can make things absolutely huge projects. You can do small little houses. You can do as much or as little as you want, really. I can actually create Western Supermare Odeon in all its Art Deco glory. It is quite addictive. I kind of enjoy building a little house. Oh, look, it's my house. Maybe I could build Castle Grayskull. First impressions were all very positive. Then it was time for us to take it up a notch and switch to survival mode. The clue to survival mode is in the title. You need to survive. In this version of the game, you start with nothing but your bare hands. You use your hands to punch a tree, use the wood to make planks, turn these planks into a crafting table on which you make your first wooden axe. Then you start to mine. I've made a mine. Right, so what? I've dug into the ground. You need to dig for your materials and build a shelter as soon as possible to protect you from a variety of deadly creatures. Time's going by and nasty creatures come out at night. Oh, my God. And all I've got four sticks and a button. Oh, no. Ah, uh, they're dead. I'm not enjoying this. It's called Zombie Nation, not Minecraft. Compared to the fun and frolics of creative mode, I found the time and commitment needed to do anything in survival mode... What am I doing? ...infuriating. I'm going to have to stop again and search for advice. There was clearly much more to Minecraft than my tech testers and I had first thought. A whole community of fans have grown up around the game, keeping in touch via multiplayer mode. But I suppose we have to stay down here with our torches on. <laughs> or was that bad? Also, developers have been beavering away in the background, coming up with new ways of interacting with the game, like apps that allow you to design yourself a new skin, the way you look to other players while you're playing the game. Look at that chrome down, that's lovely. I've looked in the App Store to create some skins. There's loads of apps out there to support Minecraft. I have been trying to design a new skin. Though there are a few positives, our overall view of Minecraft wasn't that great. Background's a bit boring. At the end of our week, only one of us thought Minecraft was for them, and that was Daniel. I think it's quite a good game, and uh, I really do enjoy playing it. Though he is 15, for us grown-ups, it was clear that Minecraft really wasn't our favourite pastime. Mm. Most games I've played seem to have an obvious task or thing to do, whereas Minecraft seems to be really just doing stuff for the sake of it, there doesn't seem to be a mission or a final boss or an objective. I don't have time to sit and wander around uh, trees and build blocks. And I'd far rather spend the time doing something else. Watching films, reading books, doing photography, doing drawing, going for a walk, having a holiday. Really, sort of finding out about new things, finding out about the world, reading the news. Anything is better probably for me than playing Minecraft. <laughs> 
Colin started his YouTube channel nine years ago and has since become a self-taught record-breaking internet celebrity. Whoops. Oh dear. 